<laughs> We've made it to our next destination, and where are we? France. Oh. Enfleur, a lovely, lovely little town. Actually, not little, it's a beautiful, beautiful town, isn't it? And we're a massive area, how many spaces are there? 180, or 160, and 80 of them have free electricity. Mm. Five, is it five watts you get? Five amps. Oh, five top, amps. That's the most you can, yeah, so if you boiling kettles, toasters, washing machines, everything, then it's not gonna, it's gonna oh, trip 14 out. 14 euro. Honest to God, we've been looking in Germany and um, Holland, Netherlands, it's been 30 euro for a night without right. electric. So that's what swayed us to come on onto this site. Uh, like I say, we've got a brilliant pitch, but we're gonna take you to, into Onflow. We've had a quick peek this morning. We've mm -hmm. had to come back cause um, a bit of thunder and lightning, but it seems yeah. to have stopped now. So let's get back into Onflow. It's market day, it's extremely busy, but it's looking good. As we're just walking back into Onflow, we'll just let you know that the camps are, well, the air, sorry, that we're stopping on is actually right on the marina. You couldn't ask for a better view, could you? That's right. A big boat went on there. It's obviously connected to the sea somehow, isn't it? But well, it's not just one big puddle, is it? So Mark's wanted to compare prices. He's seen a kebab shop. I know we're not finding any Chinese at the minute. So this is a kebab shop. How much is it for like a little shaven kebab on, with chips in a tray? Ten euro. And that's just uh, meat and chips, isn't it? That is like your basic kebab shop as well there's nothing special about it sausage and chips nine pound fifty we are finding that france is a lot well we said this before france is a lot more expensive so we know that yeah but oh, wow 10 euro for a kebab what a good idea look at that it's empty but i bet it's not normally distributed which means doggy bags for free it's from sack old man <laughs> look behind you as well what's that up there who's this Savia Francis. I'm not sure, but I can't reach it. Ah, and a lovely church in the background. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen such a French town. I know it sounds weird to say that, but it's hardly touched here at all. Like some of them have been, what do you call it, Mark? Not touched up, but. Yeah, we'll wait until we get further around. We've already seen some of it around there, and in a bit we'll show you some of like the old town, isn't it? It's, like, it's really, really old. I mean, really you can old. When they were building it, I bet. It's so funny. We've seen this before, haven't we? Somewhere. Hello. Look at it. They've even put deck chairs around it so you can sit and enjoy. What is it? Where's it coming from? Oh, right. that's not a toilet, and it's coming out of there. No. It looks a bit brown. No, it's all right. And the water is that colour around here, isn't it? But it's um yeah little chairs here to have a little sit down and enjoy it isn't it mm. so when i mean french it is really french it's absolutely gorgeous you can smell you can it see behind there it's absolutely stunning all the way around this stuff to look at now just over the water and a bit over that way is a place called the Havre. Le Havre. Le Havre or something like that Le Havre. And we went there years ago, didn't we? So it's like over the big bridge, isn't it? And it's only five, six it's kilometers. It's only over a bridge and then you can go into La Havre as well. It's like a city, is that, isn't it? That's quite nice. We went there years ago. But yeah, but this this is pretty. This, this is, is like really school, pretty, isn't it? yeah. <laughs> oh, someone's having a good time. Are they fighting? No, they're not. Someone messing around. <laughs> Walking along the harbour now and everyone is eating mussels. Mules, aren't they? Mules and frits, that's the big thing here. Yeah. yeah. But well, I'm not joking, the prices. Everything's in four figures, isn't it? Everything. Oh. Your pizza's £14.90. £14.90 Euro. for, for those of you in Europe. Yeah. Your mussels, €30. Euros. That's mussels and chips, guys. Mm -hmm. But it's got a really good vibe down here, isn't it? It's really yeah. busy. There's, to say it's expensive, everyone's sat down eating, so it must be the ongoing prices here. Yeah, it must be the right price, eh? Just not for us, unfortunately. <laughs> What have you seen now? Marmite in summer. What's that say? What does it say? Put it in the comments. Marmite with something. Marmite de la mer. It's salmon. With Marmite on. We don't do Marmite in France. I didn't know you could still buy Marmite. Who likes Marmite? Put it in the comments below. I don't think I've ever tried it. <laughs> no. These are the sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. 
I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best Wow, look at this. How's, how's it? Oh, yeah, I can see it's just this case below, isn't it? Well, oh, yeah. Stan, you can see right for him, Mark. I know he's had his guts ripped out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So we bit the bullet and we decided we need a drink. Mark's got his little machine. When it buzzes, his food's ready. We've gone for cheddar and onion fritz. Give him a try. Yeah. I'm on the cafe cream latte. I've not got the skinniest coke I've ever seen. Oh, it's a normal can size, isn't it? So. 1050. Euro. Yeah. So. Not too bad. We do like to keep it cheap, as you know, but. We stopped at a cafe down there, didn't we? So let's get a beer. And the beers were 10 euro. 10 for euro for a beer. There you yeah. go. Mox Fritz is ready. <laughs> we'll yeah, go on. Let's see what we get for us, Fritz. They were five euro. Let's see what we get. A few moments later. Oh, bigger than I thought, Mark. Yeah, it looks right. It's a big cardboard tray. Big cardboard tray. But everyone's waiting to watch a real one. Yeah. Oh, wow, they're worth it. Right. They are very worth it. Nice, Oh, can you smell it? Yeah. Smell like cheese onion crisps. Like uh, there should be some up there if they're not. I'd ask for one because you're not be able to come eat them, Raz. He's lost now. <laughs> He's gonna have to ask for a fork. Oh, is that where it is? Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they look really good. You like that, don't you? Good idea that we dried them. I thought you get a little basket of chips. I really did think you weren't gonna get a lot. And all them, all them down there yeah, that you can see. About 30 euros a dish, isn't it? Yeah, we're trying to this, I bet this one makes an absolute fortune. Keep it cheap and get extra custom, that's what I say. Good. <laughs> right, let's get a meet and we'll give you a verdict in a minute. Judging by Mark's face, they're good. So we've just been looking at this church behind us and we just found out it's called St. Catherine. It's made of wood. It was made by shipbuilders in the 16th century. I've never seen a church made of wood before. It doesn't right look at it and then you look closer and you can see it's got wood well. No, it hasn't. Well, that's one way to travel, isn't it? Did you not? Nearly slipped, man. Oh my god, god. Look at that, Mark. Instead of sweets, it's all dried fruit. Mm -hmm. okay. Your idea of hell. Oh, yeah? Big bones. Oh, you go, it's like a pick and mix of dried fruits. Where are we going? No, because believe it or not, I think dried fruits has contained more sugar than some sweets. Yeah, probably. There, now then. There's your sweets. Oh, come on, right in there. That's all, is it a fudge? I think so. No, yeah. caramels, Mark. Well, I think that's what they call fudge here, isn't it? It looks like it is. Nice, isn't it? Oh, that. What is that? It's called a mini mock. A mini mock? Yeah. I thought you meant Mini Mark. I'm not sure he is going to come in kit form or not, but it's got a mini engine in it and everything. Yeah, it says like seats look. Oh, yeah, Mark. Yeah. I think they're made for army or something. I don't think they ever used it. Army? You've not got army in that. Uh, you're alright, aren't they? Can I close seats all together? Yeah. You'd have to like <laughs> someone, wouldn't you, to sit so close like that? Yeah, it's all remnants of a mini and then the engine and stuff, you see. So, good nick that. Oh, I must have been. Well, what I'm going to show you is, I'm just going to stand in the middle of this square. When I say French town, I is what I mean, French town. Yeah. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. That's the other side of the church that I was talking about, where Saint the Catherine. shipbuilders have built it. There's another bit over here, Mark. Um, I don't know what that bit there is. Is it the same church? It's just gorgeous. En fleur in France. Yeah, we. you need to come here to take, because on camera it won't look anything like. No. 
and we just thought we'd come here yesterday, didn't we? So just by chance. Yeah. Oh God, it's gorgeous. And the thing about it is, we're on about cost, and we're paying 14 euros back at the site. But there's a, an air up the road with probably how many spaces? 20. 20. And how much is that tonight? Free. All free. We went and checked it out, didn't we? And then we went to this one, but it is. It uh, was full there when we went up there yeah. last night, so we came here. Toilet facilities. Um, you know, empty and everything, didn't they? So. I've just spotted some. Sorry, Mark. Look at the cats on the roof. Can you see the two cats up there? Mm. I thought they were real, that's why they caught my eye. But yeah, the history here is off the scale. Gorgeous. Just reading this French, well, I weren't, I'll read the English bit, yeah. but we know now why the church is separate. So, this tap bell tower here was built in, where was it now? 1496 to go on there but because it's a wooden structure it wouldn't support this so they put it over the road separately with the supports to keep it up you can right see the supports on it yeah. externally and it's still here now since 1496 how big the bell is apparently claude monet has been here to paint this square as well and we've just seen a picture of it just like this isn't it yeah. just that as it is now and all them buildings were there and everything yeah. wow I can't believe we've never heard of this place. It's crackers, isn't it? No, what you just stumble upon. That's why I like motorhoming. Yeah. We could have come here for a week and not liked it. What did I say to you on way here yesterday? I said, are you sure there's oh. anything at this place to do? Because there were hardly any signs for on floor all the way all the way here until we got like a two three kilometers out it was all for the Havre, wasn't it the Havre, and there was a, a sign for abbeville and it must have been a hundred mile from abbeville saying this way to Thomas, abbeville yeah. nothing for on floor whatsoever but so glad we found this place look lisa part of the pissing i don't i don't think so but i must admit it looks like very <laughs> <much> like, <laughs> it yeah. looks like something that it could be it looks like it's got a cow oh my goodness it's not it's not is it can we? It's not. Cow. Pissy of cow. Piss of cow. Piss. It's not. Piss Stop piss. saying that word. Well, I'm telling you. It's gone off now. But when you get to go here, look. Piss. Oh. Piss from cow. Can I get some? Mm -hmm. Now I've heard everything now. I've, I've seen frogs legs, snails, and cow now wee. cow wee in a bottle. So it turns out there's like a music event here, isn't there? There's no one watch here at the minute, but there's like rock and roll stuff. It's on flirt, rock and roll. It's like a swing kind of thing. Yeah. Just for free of charge, just like you do in the square. I'm waiting for someone to start dancing me. What for me? behind us we've been looking at this boat all day haven't we yeah it's absolutely massive no i think it's like a cruise like a canal cruiser or something well it's got it look, definitely got rooms in it and they're all having an evening meal got, yeah and, and the this... entertainment's just come on now aren't they so... <laughs> dressed as in like is it hot? amish or something aren't oh it? god i don't think it's amish but the, yeah it's the entertainment's just gone on board now the captains has come out so they're all gonna have a good boogie yeah. but what a good idea mm. whether it's just moored here or full time or it's what, like I a don't river know. cruiser is this this will probably go down the river probably starts here or something i bet yeah if you know if you've heard of it it's called Brunor. it's i mean it's huge look how big it is it's massive you got looks like bedrooms down there as well and, and rooms up here it's very luxurious. Yeah, I don't think it's here all the time, is it? It'll no. be probably gone in a day or two. So. And I reckon, because we're out in the mouth of the river sign here, so I reckon it'll go down a river, because it's a big river, that sign. And I bet a it's a river money. cruiser. A lot of money. It looks very expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's caught up with us. We've had a long, long day, and we're going to call it a day here, I think, aren't we? For tonight, anyway. Yeah. It's uh, later than you think, isn't it? What time is it? I don't know. Don't care. <laughs> People are still eating mules, aren't they? Yeah, the restaurants are absolutely heaving still. The shops have shut, which is strange, but the restaurants are absolutely rammers. So yeah, um, as you can see, there's still kids going round on merry-go-rounds behind us. The big wheel still going round. I don't think people know the word stop. So we're going to go back to the van, call it a night, get some kip, hopefully, mm -hmm. and we will catch you in the morning. Good morning. Well, afternoon actually, isn't it? We've been waiting for the rain to stop. Still hasn't. We've thought, sod it, let's just go out. 
you don't let it put you off do you so we're heading towards the town again there was a bit we saw when we were coming back last night that, that, we've, that we've not seen before so we're gonna go and have a mooch around there we are still in on flare by the way mm. we haven't moved on we're gonna move on tomorrow morning uh where we're we so going yeah. to san malo malo is it malo something malo. Like, yeah. just down the coast a couple of hours isn't it so uh, looks nice so we're gonna go there for a night or so won't we? yeah but we'll crack on for now and we'll get you over to see what we can find in this other bit that we never saw have, yesterday I, I have already picked up a sustained quite a, an injury haven't i oh have a look at this yeah look at that chico bit me <laughs> chico did not bat him mm. what did you do some chains you can't see them from here but there's some chains over there <laughs> he tried to take a shortcut guys Missed the massive chain, it was huge and tripped right over it. Mm, like that all my weight in my body on my chin. All together now. So, oh. I was going to go to the infirmary, but I've made do with some cream for now. We'd normally pick it up, but we've just seen a seagull doing this on the main road. Never Look at this. Bag, just been look they're still over there look they're fighting over the rubbish now mark mm. someone's left it there though you shouldn't just leave it there should you well that's what they've done dragged it out i mean it's bottles and all sorts of look at them i hope you're happy with that mr seagull but while we're on the subject i don't know if you can see but look at that street it like summer off a film set yeah it's just untouched isn't it the whole of on fleurs like this isn't it yeah it looks mad doesn't it it's amazing another one down there if you take away all the modern cars, you'd think you were all, you were back in when it was years were, ago. Yeah. yeah. Naughty seagull. <laughs> massive, aren't they? Sounds right. Chuff for yourself because he's put rubbish all over the floor. So you might be wondering how we get Chico from A to B when we're on the scooters. This is how. Is Mark it? has not a man bag. He has a Chico bag. <laughs> there he is. Hello. And he absolutely loves it. He just Clam gone in it now. Yeah, he's just, just been running around this park here and he goes straight in it when he's out. He just it, climbs in on his own, doesn't he? Yeah. And he's just had a really good run around this field, so we're going to carry on a bit further and then going back out again in about another five minutes because the park carries off further, further on up there, doesn't it? Mm. Right, Ooh. we've got problems. We've just got back to this lovely air that we've been telling you about. Totally blocked in. Blocked in. Aren't Nobody we? cares. Everyone's Nobody cares. Part, right. They've been coming and going all day. They one bank game blocked. Yeah, but they come during the night as well. It doesn't mm. stop, does it? No, it's... Saying, one o'clock this morning, the van's coming. Seven o'clock this morning. So uh, it's all right. It's close to the town and stuff, but it's put us off. So we're heading off tonight, aren't we? Can't we're going to try and get out now because I think I might be having to ask some vans to move because they've just all arrived now and they don't care if we no, can but... get out or get in or anyone else can get in. Mm. So we've now got to do like a fifty-point manoeuvre. This one next was here is right on us they open oh. the window and it's near enough touching our van got to go left as well so you know what happens when i turn in tight spaces we have mishaps don't i we? ain't having my back end ripped off again mm. and we've got all the ones outside here and this one's just parked now right in the middle of right in the middle and he's he's not even pulled up to where he should be but so we're in long vans with motor arms and stuff seven eight meters and i got back as far as i could they we've, don't we've, give a monkeys really so. we've seen how they drive they just literally pull in mm. get the chairs out and that's it and that's another thing Camping behaviour. We all know that if you're on an air or if you're wild camping, you don't get your tables and chairs out in your mm. awnings. These are full-blown campsites. Yeah, so We've got dining tables and awnings and all sorts going out, and they don't give you any room. So we're going to try and move on now to where we're supposed to be going tomorrow. But I'm not being blocked in like this. This is awful. Um, if this is a fire, God knows what would happen. Mm. But yeah, think of that before you get an air. If it's, it's a big air, but there's no one controlling it. Ridiculous. So he got out. You're doing your water first. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Right. Let's crack on. 
so we've filled up with petrol that's just cost us 120 euros because at the moment it's 1.67 here we've just found an air that's going to cost four euros it's literally 38 minutes away now so the time is now half past 11 at night <laughs> we're stuck on a toll road aren't we yeah the sat nav decided to have a hissy fit as we're coming to something like the spaghetti junction and took us completely the wrong way and put us on a toll road towards Paris. So thanks sat nav. It's not a great night up to now. So I want to get this air, get to bed and wake up all fresh tomorrow. What the chances? See you in the morning guys. Good morning from a very tired Oz. Um, we arrived here last night at one o'clock. About one in the morning, yeah. Yeah. We were a bit of a joke when it. We set off, like say, we left the campsite because it was getting dead busy and we were getting blocked in, and then we managed to get some diesel from a petrol station that was closed, but it were uh, open. Twenty-four hour, yeah, it was open but closed, wasn't it? So um, we arrived at somewhere called Villiers Bocard. We just found it on Search for Sats, St Malo. After, after I sat and I've sent us, we'd set it for no tolls. We've decided on this uh, visit to Europe this time, we're going to try and do where we are any tolls. Uh, and we set it for no tolls, didn't we? Yeah, and then it had a hissy fit. We actually saw it watching it, sent us up the slip road to a motorway, which was tolls, and it realised and it tried to turn me around and we ended up, with, well, ended up heading towards Paris that way, didn't we? Well, it so. couldn't have been any worse time for it to have a hissy fit because it was like a spaghetti junction kind of thing. It rolled over the place and it was sending us all over. Obviously, we picked the wrong one, thought we were doing right, and it was it just sent us back where we are going. Chico's on the bed, playing, as you can see. Hey. <laughs> And look what we've had to put last night as well. That's another thing. We got here last night and there were flies everywhere, they weren't there? Even though all the vents were shut, they were, they were coming in the van, weren't we? So yeah. we've got the Zero Mustiki, which is a <laughs> the sort of anti mosquito lamp, and we've plugged it into the. Yeah, we've had to plug it into his big blue wet because we just wanted to go to bed. So we've got the big power station out. We'll show you this in a future vlog. Uh, we have fetched it with us, and it's been brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah, fly, really, really good. Fly there doesn't look oh, yeah. Mine, no, there's a fly sat there. So I don't know if it's working or not, that I don't know, but we didn't get bit anyway. I just didn't want to wake up to a load of bats. So we've had some coffees bought. Coffees? Um, when we really, really do appreciate this. So we're just going to give you a quick shout out if you've bought us a coffee. Billy P, Geo Cooper, Yvonne Merchant, Tess Holden and Sarah Parker. Now Sarah bought Chico a treat and also a Marchanese. Mm, still got a fine one, yeah, I know. Flipping it. Yeah, the, on, yeah. yeah, there's not a lot, not a lot. Um, yeah, thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now Sarah also sent me these. I didn't get bought anything, but she's made me these beautiful shells. Look at these, they're absolutely gorgeous. And they have little bees on them. I've got another one up there. Like as you can nests, see they? yeah they're like bees nests but what we do is we put all our stuff in them so it tidies all the van up absolutely beautifully made the quality is gorgeous now if you want to find sarah you can find her on instagram under but first a cup of tea that is her name on instagram uh, contact her if you want she makes those and she can send them out to you thanks sarah also a few more coffees nick and rick from the usa thank mm. you so much uh, ian king and bob price we do appreciate thank you, you all thank you so much and chico's going to benefit massively out of all that lot oh, yeah, as well with my chinese uh, yeah yeah you, you, chico will miss out on that one you won't get any you won't get anything from you there um <laughs> And we're also really overwhelmed at getting super thanks on on our channel so i'll give you guys a shout out as quickly as well josh halmert sue h happy in my auto trail paul morgan nikki mckenna thanks nikki wendy dickens jp lamaru cornwall and beyond with smithy and woody mm -hmm. thank you so so much thank you brilliant thank you that's us for this uh, vlog though we're gonna get packed up it's early in the morning and get to the next place and we will catch you on the next one. Yeah, join us next time in St. Melo. Um, we might be a bit more lucky finding Chinese. Oh, yeah, I found one Probably yet, first guys. video I've ever made never find a Chinese, so. Great, innit? So for now, from us and Chico, we will catch you on the next one. <laughs>